writing the subject, we will again leave a line and then we write the greetings or the salutation. The greetings or the salutation is how do you greet the person? That is, dear sir, dear ma'am, to whoever you are writing, you are right, you will write either dear sir or dear ma'am. After salutation, come to the body part. Body is the main part of the letter where you are describing the reason why you are writing the letter. Now again, this body part has to be divided into two paragraphs. The first part, you will mention the reason of the writing the letter and then you will elaborate the reason. You will expand why you are writing the letter in an elaborated form. After this, you will conclude with polite ending. It means that you will ask the authorities to take responsible action, to take some necessary actions regarding what you have requested or regarding what you have asked them for. After this, coming to complimentary close. Next, after body, it's complimentary close. What is complimentary close? That is, to wind up your letter, referring with yours truly. Basically, in formal letters, we use yours truly only to write the complimentary close. Finally, we come to the end of the formal letter format. That is, your full name, just below yours truly, you will mention your complete name with designation or class. Suppose you are writing a letter to the authority or to some uh, official work or for some um, managerial post, then you are writing your full name with whatever designation you are holding. Or if you are writing it to the school, then you will write your full name along with the class in which you are studying. This is how you write a formal letter and this is the format for the formal letter. So I hope you all are able to understand how we write a formal letter. This format is very important and always you should remember the format how to write a formal letter. Then only it comes up in a proper writing form. Thank you so much.